GetResponse is most known as an email marketing software, but can you run webinars on it? In this review, we'll take an in-depth look into the most important pros and the cons of GetResponse webinars. We'll cover webinar funnels and conversion tracking, webinar registration pages and A-B testing, the webinar email reminders, and the live webinar presentation tools and audience interactions. Does it really pay off to have your email marketing, automation and webinars all in just one single software or does it get way too expensive? Can one software really have all those products in one package and do it really well at the same time? Well, let's find out. One thing GetResponse has done really well is the webinar funnel dashboard. So there is a really clear overview of the entire webinar funnel and the different steps of the funnel and how well are they converting. It's also really clear where can I edit the landing page, where can I edit the emails and where can I edit the post webinar thank you page. But actually one thing that got me a bit confused is that I can't edit the webinar settings itself and I can't grab the webinar links uh, or join the webinar room from the funnel view. What you actually have to do is go under webinars and choose the webinar funnel webinar to be visible. It's hidden by default. You have to have apply it and only then you can access the webinar settings. And it took me quite a while to figure this out that you have to turn it uh, visible from here. So this is the webinar registration page builder. You can actually customize almost everything from here. And there is a uh, widget toolbox here. You can drag and drop certain elements, for example, the webinar registration form and also, for example, the, the countdown timer. You can always check how your registration page would look like on mobile. So you can make sure it's always mobile responsive for your registrants. Features that you can use to increase your registration conversions. Now, first, there is actually built-in A-B testing for your registration pages. So you can create automatically a variant B and change a couple of things. For example, the buttons or the text and see which variant of your registration page converts registrations better. The second important feature here is that you can create exit pop-up forms to win back the visitors who are, who are about to leave your page and convert them to your webinar registrants. Now, one quite confusing thing here is that there are two types of emails. There's the marketing emails and the reminder emails, and they are configured in two completely different places. Now, if you wanna set up the webinar reminder emails, you have to go under webinars, uh, choose your webinar and go under the settings, set, and here you can actually choose which uh, webinar email reminders you want to send. And you can also choose uh, one of three templates that they have here as well. The registration confirmation email is a marketing email that can be set up under the webinar funnel here. The email editor is actually quite decent. You can drag and drop different elements and customize it exactly the way you like it. Now here on the right hand side, you have this mobile preview. So you can always double check if your emails are mobile responsive. Now let's look at the pros and the cons of the live webinar room. And what are the presentation tools for you as the host? And how would it look like for the attendee? As you are presenting and sharing your slides, you can always see what are the next slides so you can create a smooth transition. And if you want to emphasize some point at any time, you can switch to all webcam really easily and you can switch back to the slides where you left off from. One pretty cool presentation tool here is the whiteboard tool. You can choose a pencil or a shape and you can actually draw and emphasize some points on your slides. And if you have the collaborative uh, drawing switched on, then actually your participants can actually uh, draw as well and share, share their thoughts and ideas visually. I can definitely see how this could be useful for hosting a webinar for education, for example, or a webinar where you need to collaborate and share ideas. What about the video quality? I'm currently using a 1080p webcam, but the quality is quite grainy and bad. So I can change, so I can change the quality here to HD, but as you can see, it doesn't really do anything. If I change it, nothing significantly happens. You can't see any change. 
So this is a downside for get response webinars. So I'm currently setting up a multiple choice poll for my audience. And for each answer, I can choose a small picture as well. So for example, I can choose uh, this kind of picture and publish the poll right here. So the voting here is pretty well designed and I can uh, see the votes here in real time as my attendees are voting in, just like this. Now, as I'm ending my vote, I can share the results with all my attendees as well. So they can see the same thing that I am seeing. The other type of polls is actually test surveys that you can run and you can add different scores for each answer, for multiple choice answers, or you can have open-ended questions. As you launch the test, it will become visible for all the attendees. So this kind of test surveys with scoring is what makes GetResponse actually a really good platform for educational webinars. Each attendee can mark their status. For example, if they want you to speak louder, and if they do, their status would appear here so their message wouldn't get lost in the chat. So there are two types of messages. There are the chat messages and there are questions which are marked differently. And it's interesting that GetResponse can automatically understand questions. For example, if an attendee asks a question, it will be marked automatically as a question. Typically, at the end of your webinar, you want to take the questions and you want to have all the questions listed. So that's what GetResponse has done. You go into question mode and you publish each question separately and the question being answered is displayed in full screen for all the attendees. And you just go through all the questions and answer them. It's really convenient. So there are actually more features here in the live room. For example, the offers with a countdown and there's also screen sharing and sharing YouTube videos and so on. So to conclude, the live room and the presentation tools are really well done here. And it's suitable for marketing webinars and for educational webinars. Not all your webinar registrants will be able to attend your live webinar. But it doesn't mean they're not interested. Just couldn't make it. But they still want to... A definite downside for get response is that there is no webinar follow-up email by default. There is a workaround you can use but it's not going to be pretty. First, you have to understand that there is no playback system in GetResponse for your webinar replay. You have to download the webinar recording file and re-upload it to YouTube or Vimeo, for example. Then you go to GetResponse and create a new newsletter email and set your webinar attendees as the newsletter recipients. And then you just put the webinar replay video link inside the newsletter. On the upside, the replay video records the attendee list, the chat messages, the polls, the offers, everything that happened during the live is going to be seen on the video. But the webinar replay attendees can't really ask their own questions or engage in any other way. And lastly, the webinar analytics is actually quite sophisticated. You can learn things like how well are your registration pages converting? And if you have exit pop-ups, how are they converting? The email open rates and the click-through rates. You can also analyze when were the peak times and the low points during your webinar so you can improve in the future. You can also generate a detailed webinar report PDF that shows you different data about your attendance, about your attendees' uh, devices, your, uh, their location, the poll summary, all that stuff in a really detailed webinar report. This helps you learn and personalize and improve your next future webinars. Considering that you would be getting a full-fledged email marketing software, a webinar software, and an automation builder to keep it all together, this is actually a really reasonable price. However, you have to keep in mind that as you're creating webinars, your webinar registrants will be put on lists of contacts for you. And as that list is you'll have to scale up your pricing as well at some point. Also keep in mind that live webinars become available from the plus package and the on-demand webinars become available starting from the professional package. All in all, GetResponse has a very decent webinar registration flow and the live webinar experience. Having your email marketing and webinars together in one place is a smart choice because you have your contacts from your email campaigns and your webinar attendees all in one place. So you can create email lists out of your webinar attendees and vice versa.
But to be fair, I did experience some friction when using GetResponse for webinars. And the biggest flaws for me were, first, the navigation between the webinar funnel and the webinar settings was a bit clunky for me. Second, there is no built-in webinar follow-up. There is a workaround for it, but that is a bit complicated to set up at first. And in the live room, the video quality was not that great. You can switch it to HD, but for me, it didn't do any difference. However, there are definitely more upsides to GetResponse webinars, and the most important ones you should know are First, the webinar funnel dashboard gives a really clear top-down conversion overview. Second, the landing page editor has a rich toolbox so you can customize the pages to your brand or however you like it. There are built-in A-B testing and exit pop-ups which actually also have A-B testing built into them. And in the live webinar room, there are test surveys and a collaborative whiteboard tool which make it perfect for educational webinars. So GetResponse is great for marketing or educational webinars, but you should try it out and see if it fits your specific needs. Click on the link in description and get a 30-day free trial for GetResponse. Down here in the description. Thanks for watching.